sometimes we try to make things happen and we're not aligned. The body, mind, the spirit are going in all these different directions. Like, hey, we're moving in a different direction, Nikki. And I said, me too. <laughs> all the great things in life come from you being challenged, of you breaking a sweat, of you stretching to your utmost. I didn't like it, it didn't feel good, but dang, look what happened. So what's one of the best things you've ever done, ladies? Your kids, right? But Lord Jesus, didn't that hurt? <laughs> I did say something about being stretched to the limit, right? <laughs> if you'd have known how fine and powerful you were, you would have never dated that many losers. But what was the case at that time? You had no clue. You had no clue how powerful it was to be a fine black woman. Why on earth would you take an entire year to do something you could do in 12 weeks? Okay? So the question becomes, what's blocking you? It's just a question of peeling away the unnecessary layers, right? To get to the inner champion. To get to the best self. I like to call it the supreme self. Our families project their fears onto us. So get out of your comfort zone and jump into your genius zone. That is where you are always uncomfortable. We say comfort zone as if it's something that's temporary. So get out of your comfort zone and stay out. Be in position to be pulled forward at all times. That's how you know you're in the right group of folks. That's how you know you got the right tribe. You're always uncomfortable because they're pulling you. All right?